Imagine this. 72 rockets, fired in under 44 seconds. A storm of fire and steel that turns an area larger than 20 football fields into a wasteland. This is Pinaka, India's deadliest rocket artillery system. It doesn't just fight wars, it ends them. Because in battle, there's one simple rule. The enemy can't be over there if over there no longer exists. This is the story of one of India's biggest defense triumphs. A rocket launcher designed by DRDO, built by Indian companies, and now being exported to the world. From its humble beginnings in the 1980s to the upcoming Mark III and Mark IV variants, Panaka proves that India can build world-class weapons. Today, the breakdown covers how it works, why it's powerful, how it was developed, and why countries like Armenia and France want it. Chapter 1. What is Panaka and how does it work? Panaka is a multi-barrel rocket launcher. Think of a giant mobile fire hose that shoots rockets. Each launcher truck carries 12 rockets, and a full battery includes six launchers, ready to launch 72 rockets in one go. Here's how it works. Scouts, drones, or troops locate a target, enemy bunkers, camps, or vehicles, and send GPS coordinates to the unit. Pinaka locks on and launches its rockets, which can fly up to 45 to 90 kilometers, depending on type, carrying powerful warheads. Then comes the genius part. The launch trucks immediately relocate. This shoot-and-scoot tactic makes Pinnaka not just powerful, but hard to hit in return. Chapter 2. Structure and Superpowers Pinnaka is more than just trucks with rockets. It's a full system. Alongside the launch vehicles are command posts, radars, reloaders, and communication units, all working like a well-drilled team. It can fire all 72 rockets together, shoot them one after another, or just launch a single rocket, whatever the mission needs. The advanced versions use GPS-guided rockets that can hit within 30 meters of the target. And it works everywhere. Mountains, deserts, jungles, or snow. Pinaka is built for the full spectrum of the battlefield. Chapter 3. The Pinaka Story Back in the 1980s, India was still using outdated Soviet BM-21 grads. It was clear. India needed its own system. So DRDO stepped in. And after years of R&D, Pinaka was born in the late 90s. It was first battle-tested in the Kargil War, striking Pakistani positions hidden in the mountains. Its performance was so effective that the Indian Army inducted it in 2000. Since then, it has evolved, from Mark I to Mark II, and now Mark III and Mark IV are on the way. Pinaka didn't just replace old systems, it leapfrogged them. Chapter 4 why Pinaka is a game changer for India. Pinaka isn't just a rocket system. It's a symbol of India's defense independence. Built under the Make in India mission, it brought together DRDO and private players like Tata, L&T, and Solar Industries. This public-private model proved that India can not only design and build complex systems, but also mass-produce and export them. It's fast, reliable, affordable, and built for modern war. In a world full of expensive imports, Pinaka shows that India can lead, not follow. Chapter 5. Range and the Future of Pinaka Pinaka's evolution tells its own story. It started with the Mark I, capable of hitting targets 40 kilometers away, already a step up from older Soviet-era systems. Then came the MK2, extending that range to 75 kilometers and adding GPS guidance for pinpoint accuracy. But the future? It's a whole different league. The MK3, currently in advanced development, is designed to strike beyond 120 kilometers. It's lighter, faster, and smarter, with new propellants and high-performance sensors. And then there's the Mark IV, the boldest leap yet. With a potential range of 250 to 300 kilometers, it's practically in missile territory, dual guidance systems, a eye-powered targeting, high maneuverability, harder to detect, and even harder to stop. DRDO is working on an air-launched version of Pinaka 4, and the Navy is also exploring potential naval applications. Chapter 6. Pinaka Goes Global India's first big export of Pinaka went to Armenia, which received four batteries between 2023 and 2024, including guided and extended range variants. The deal, worth around 2,000 crore rupees, 
marked a major step in India's defense exports. Since then, countries like Indonesia, Nigeria, and others in Southeast Asia have shown interest. And in early 2025, even France entered advanced talks, possibly becoming the first European buyer of a frontline Indian weapon. Why the demand? Pinaka is battle-tested, affordable, and performs across all terrains. It's simple to use, easy to maintain, and comes with full support from India. For many countries, Pinaka delivers firepower and precision, without the heavy price tag of Western systems like HIMARS.